John Paul II did not think that motherhood necessarily means having biological children. But that doesn't mean that he believed women should avoid having kids. And that is because parenthood is one of the primary ways in which both women and men learn to love at the deepest level. I remember the first time I held Naomi, my oldest daughter, and she's screaming. And I said, Naomi, Naomi, it's okay. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. And I don't know what I'm saying. I'm crying and I'm talking. And when I start talking, she did one of those and looked at me. And she looked right at me. I don't even know if she could see me or not. It didn't matter. She looked right at me like, I knew that voice. And yeah, we're talking to the, in the belly all those months and whatnot. But when she responded like that, something kicked in me. And I, I, wanted to, I wanted to tell the world. I wanted to profess to her and everyone, I will die for you. I, I will live for you. And, and I hate to compare, because, you know, to compare is to despair. But, you know, it took a while to get that with Melanie, my wife, right? I, praise God, I'm, I'm there. I will live for her. I will die for her. But it took a while. This was within seconds of this little baby looking me in the eye. And it was just this instant sense, you can trust me, is what I felt. You can trust. I entrust yourself to me. I will will your good. And yeah, it's hard. It's unbelievably hard. And it's hard because it, even with each child, it unravels, it makes bare my own sin. The more they annoy us, the more they bother us, the more they just get under our skin, is a bigger light bulb that says, oh, there's something that hasn't been worked out. There's a way that I can learn now to see my own weakness and defect and to make sure it doesn't pass to another generation. I had my first child when I was 35. I thought, you know, this, these, these first two months, these are hard, but it's going to get better. And it did a little bit, but there was still huge transitions. I remember even just thinking about going into the store, I have to carry and take this child with me all the time. And it was just, I was used to traveling the world. I lived in France, I lived in Poland, I lived in Italy, and, and you know, suddenly my life is just turned upside down. But the bigger thing was that I thought, you know, every week I had this sense like, okay, next week's gonna get easier. It's gonna get, it's gonna be better next week. And then finally it dawned on me like, wow, what if it's not supposed to get easier? What if there's some real gifts in this difficulty that I'm not even paying attention to because I'm so focused on when will this get easier? And as soon as I kind of had this insight, like motherhood is supposed to help take me out of myself and help make me more selfless. Then all of a sudden, motherhood had this whole new cast, and I sort of understood the things that were happening interiorly to my own soul. You know, I was becoming less self-absorbed. And I was becoming a lot more patient, a lot more compassion. Um, you know, all of those kinds of things. And I think the place where this was most striking to me in my life was air travel. I used to fly a lot, and I, you know, I always had great seating and very well taken care of because I had so many points and um, so when I had my children you know I'd been several years all those points were gone you know I had no status and you know, I was so excited to just be on a plane and not have anybody bother me but I didn't care I was in the back of the plane and sort of you know in a corner by myself like it didn't matter that I wasn't in business class anymore you know it was just and, but prior to that, I would have been, I think I would probably was a terrible flyer and I would have been really upset and cranky about being put in the back. So, you know, it was just a small marker of, of where my patience and, and what kind of a person I was being transformed into by um, that experience of just being grateful for everything and, and having a sense of gratitude instead of, um, you know, that awful flyer that nobody wants to deal with <laughs> at the front <laughs> counter. <laughs>